Greetings, Our Lady of Hope. Just a few things to go over this week. First of all, on masks and social distancing. Some parishes have changed some of their guidelines, but I want to let you know what we are doing here at Our Lady of Hope. We're going by the science and we're going by the numbers. We are adding more people into our church, but we are still keeping social distancing and still requiring for our parishioners to wear their masks. And as usual for Holy Communion, we are going to be uh, going to the people uh, to present them the host when they receive Holy Communion. What does this mean for future feast days? Well, it's the custom to have throats blessed at the Feast of St. Blaise. At the Feast of St. Blaise, Father will bless your throats in a general blessing. If those who insist on an individual throat blessing, that can be done after Mass, but socially distanced. The candles will not be placed on your throat, and there will be no close contact. So even those blessings will be socially distant. As we come to Ash Wednesday, we will explain more things that will be happening at a later date. The CCW is still helping with their Hugs for the Homeless campaign, and I know that even loaves and fishes are waiting to just start in. But for right now, individual ministries are not going to locations. We are still compliant with the diocese and where the regulations are for right now. Let us continue to pray that this plague leaves our land. We are still going to be socially distant. We are still wearing the mask. We are still praying for the end of COVID. This week, we also had growth. Even though many people were away, we had 14 students confirmed in their faith, 14 young adults who are willing to stand up for the Lord and for the church. Please pray for them, for they are at an age where they have to give their weight, greatest witness in modeling Christ, compassion and mercy and virtue. And also, we have four people inquiring to join Our Lady of Hope Church. A small but mighty number. We continue to grow even as we are self-isolating, and that to me is a very hopeful sign. One day we will all be together again. We'll continue to pray until that day happens. Until then, stay safe and stay in the faith. Take care.